What's going on guys? In this video I wanted to share my experience refurbishing the original 2008 MacBook Air and installing Linux 20.04 Zubuntu LTS. So let's get into it. So internally for this laptop I cleaned the motherboard, I installed a 1.8 inch ZIF 40 pin SSD and applied new thermal paste to the CPU and GPU heatsink. And I also installed the Mac OS 10.6.3 shortly thereafter. This laptop is still capable of leisurely or casual computing even in 2020. However, the operating system, the web browser, and many other applications are just no longer supported. First thing you will need to make this MacBook Air relevant in 2020 and installed with the latest supported operating system and other software is to acquire a 4 gigabyte USB drive and any distribution of Linux. You will need to power on your MacBook with the USB drive inserted into the USB port while holding the left option key on the keyboard until you see a screen displaying different bootable options. Then you're going to select the .efi or just EFI boot option in the middle. Go through all the prompts for installation. Most of this is self-explanatory. Ubuntu is my recommended distro because it is a relatively easy plug and play installation across the board on many computers. It's pretty customizable and has a lot of software compatibility. Loading may take some time so just be patient. Once the operating system is live you will need to select the desktop icon for installing Ubuntu. So installing Linux allows you to use an up-to-date web browser like Google Chrome and install a variety of free and in many cases extremely useful open source software. It sits around 400 to 500 megabytes of RAM in a normal state under no load, thus giving you around 1.5 gigabytes of free RAM for the already limited 2 gigabytes of RAM the MacBook Air has. Let me go over some cons I've experienced with this software on this computer specifically and also note that Linux is not flawless all the time. The fan noise and the very finicky touchpad interface stood out most prominent to me at first. Testing out the video playback on YouTube had surprising results. The Core 2 Duo P7500 and Intel GMA X3100 integrated graphics can actually play 720p resolution video that is viewable without too much frame drop. I would just recommend watching 480p resolution for the best experience. These are very old laptops, keep in mind, but they still look good and can function great even in 2020 and can be quite usable depending on what you are needing to get done on a laptop. Well, that's about it for this video. If you guys like this type of content, please consider subbing or leaving a like on this video. Thanks for watching.